Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Let's start the another interesting topics of WebRTC tutorial series. In the last two videos, we have seen how to implement WebRTC video call application. If you haven't watched those videos yet, please check those tutorials before starting this video. Now let us move to advanced concept of WebRTC. Today let us see the WebRTC topologies in multi-party video application. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. You know that we have already discussed how WebRTC is working in peer-to-peer -peer communication. We have seen the sum of the examples with chat application and video call application. In these applications, we have only seen one user and one peer. That is, only one-to-one -one communication. User can request an offer and other user will accept the offer and create a WebRTC communication. Now let us see how we can implement a multi-party conference application. You might already seen in our daily life, we are using some of the application like Zoom meeting, Google Hangout and Skype to make a conference call. Have you ever think about how can we achieve this conference call with WebRTC? Yes, we can do it. It is really possible. But we have to design in such a way that how we can send our media and audio across each users. In multi-party call, we must choose an architecture for our application. This is because how the users are arranged will play an important role in the conference call. A topology refers to the layout of a computer networks. Network topology refers to the manner in which the links and nodes of a network are arranged to relate to each other. Here you can consider nodes or each user. Topology can describe either physically or logically. So this means how we are aligned our users in a network. In WebRTC multi-party application, the number of users are very large. So we have to select an efficient topology for better communication across each users. To truly scale WebRTC applications, you have to leverage topologies designed to extend its capabilities. Selecting the right topology can improve performance and data efficiency, optimize allocation of resources, and reduce operational costs. There are three popular topologies used in multi-party WebRTC implementation. Those are Mesher Peer-to-Peer -to -peer Topology, Multipoint Conferencing Unit, MCU Topology, and Selective Forwarding Unit, SFU Topology. Mesh topology is the simplest topology for a multi-party application. Here every participant sends and receives its media to all other participants. In MCU topology, each participant sends its media to a central server and receives media from the central server. In SFU topology, each participant sends its media to a central server and receives all others' media from the central server. This central server is called SFU. We can see in detail of every topologies in upcoming videos. I will explain all the pros and cons of these topologies. Now you might have think that which topology is best and which is we are going to be used for our multi-part application. I would like to say that each topologies have their own advantages and drawbacks. We can see a clear picture in the upcoming videos of each topologies. Stay tuned for that. I hope you got a brief idea of the WebRTC topologies and why we are using in our application now. That's it for this video. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.